Hi guys, me again. Uh, today we've got something a little bit special for you today. We have a guest appearance. Hopefully it'll turn out good. I know it'll turn out good. So yeah, without further ado, I'll shut up and I'll pass you over. Enjoy the video. Hi, Jude here. So I'm going to be describing this piece of terrain. The look I want it to have is like, it looks like it's been dragged through a bush backwards. <laughs> so I want this piece of Necron terrain to have a glow effect. So I'm going to get on with it. So to start this off, I've just base coated it in a black primer. And I'm then just going to base coat it in a fine grey colour. Hi, I'm back. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to put a light in all of these parts that I've made with the Dremel and to create a glow effect. And I'm also going to go inside this circle. Then I'm going to mix the black with this white to make a grey and I'm going to dry brush the whole thing with that. So here we go. Now see this part can be a bit messy because you can always neaten it up. Getting it, getting it on is just the most important part. There we go. Now, after the white is the art, the white acts like a base coat basically, and it gives a really good effect. So, time for the mix. I see I'm just going to rub this so I've only got little amounts of paint on my actual brush. Now you see, a main important part of the dry brush is to bring out all the details. Try and not get it into the white part though. And there we go, a nice, good, fine dry brush. So, what we're going to do is, now, I just want to check this dry brush, and I'm very happy with it. So now we're just going to wait till it dries, and then we'll crack on with the next part. See ya. Hi, I'm back. So I've just done another dry brush and around the edges just to bring out a bit of the detail. And I've now mixed a new blue using equal parts of crystal blue, royal cloak, and then half of the amount of ice star. So I'm now going to attempt to make a glow effect. So I'm just going to dry brush into the white. And I'm then going to knock too much into the white though, because then it'll just overpower. So, let's go. Mm. 
And if you do this part, you do, it is good that you get it on the edges. Not too much, but not too little. Now, if you've watched one of these videos before, you'll think I'm missing some of Well, I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, on this part now, now they're all covered, what I'm going to then do is, for like the shine effect, I'm just going to do little, little strokes off the edges and I'm going to get fade, more fade as I go out. So now you see with this part, you don't really want to put your paintbrush back into the paint, otherwise you'll get too much. See, the white just comes through completely, so I think I might just do another coat. And then, after I've done another coat on the, on the lines, I'm then going to go into the circle. Now, see, with this part, I'm just going to go into the whites and not actually too much on the br blue, so then it covers. Make sure you don't cover it too much or you won't be able to see any of the white and it will just be plain blue. We don't want that. Circle time. So you see, I'm just gonna do a just nice quick dry brush, and then I'm gonna add and add to that. I see into with this circle and I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. And I'm just gonna dry brush near the circle. And then I'm just gonna do the back as well. Otherwise there's no point. Because you always want the detail. Always. No good that detail. See, the reason why I like polystyrene for this sort of thing is because it gives a good effect when you're doing dry brush. Because it doesn't just let you just coat it. It lets you go into the crack like a wash does. So that's really helpful in this. Because now look at that. I think that that's done a pretty good job. I'm happy with this. So look, it's just quick and easy and it looks really effective. Um, yeah. Now, see, if you run out of paint, what I like to do is I just like to get a bit of water and just water it down. It's so easy. Like this. Got my water. Whoa. I'm just going to add. Now, see, it might change the colour a little bit, but hopefully it won't be too much of a difference. So, now you see, now I've got this little bit of a different colour I'm just going to add it and it's going to give context now you see if you've got too much of a colour like I have you can just go uh, clean your brush or the excess paint and then you just dab it And I've dabbed over the too much of a covered area. I'm gonna get some kitchen roll. I'm just gonna dab that. 
and then just do like little short wipes and it comes off really easily. And there we go. So that's my result and I think I'm happy with it. I'm just gonna quickly dry brush into the battle marks and I'm done. So I've now gone back in because when I looked at it, I didn't really think I achieved a blow. So when I went back in, I added some white lines and blended it through with a lighter blue. So I now think it looks much better and I think my, vine, my final result is a lot more effective. So I will be back in the future and thank you KG Creations for letting me do and I, to do a video on his channel. Bye! So what did you think of that guys? Pretty awesome for an 11 year old. Pretty awesome. A big thanks to Jade. Shout out. Hopefully you'll see him again. Share the video. Kids get involved. Join the resistance. Join the revolution. Jade. Watch out for him. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon.